guys welcome back to my channel this is me once again trying to review this jackie ina palette the first time that i did it my videos got deleted I updated my phone and I backed everything up, but somehow when I went to go and put everything back on the phone, like I woke up the next day and I had like 47 videos. I had like 47 pictures and like three videos. 15,000 pictures, the videos, everything put together. So I feel some kind of way because I waited so long just to do the review. Like I got the palette in December and then didn't wait to film until February. But now it's open. I used it like three times and I'm just like, oh, so frustrating. Because I played the um, Jackie Ina challenge and I had like the little thing, pick out my three shades that I was gonna wear. And yeah, it was a really cute video and I edited it the same day. Guys, this is the Jackie Aina palette. I already opened it. I did the review, but oh my gosh. I've been wearing this palette for like the past couple of days. I haven't even touched my other palettes because I'm loving this one so much. I was in the Apple store because I was trying to fix the problem that I had and this guy came up to me. He was definitely family and he said, girl, what do you do to make your eyeshadow look like that? And luckily, I had the palette in my bag because I did my makeup at work that day. Actually, do you know Jackie Anna? Do you watch YouTube? And he was like, yeah. I was like, well, this is the Jackie Anna palette. The color that I was wearing that day is Wigglies. That has been like one of my favorite colors so far. Oh my God, this color is a problem. So instead of doing like all of, you know, trying to review the palette and everything, I'm gonna just give it a 10 out of 10 because I love it. It First of all, my sister, Jackie, she doesn't know she's my sister, but she is my sister. She's my big YouTube sister. Don't talk about me in the comments. <laughs> the fact that she got a chance to collaborate with Anastasia Beverly Hills is freaking awesome. So congratulations to her. The palette is amazing. The colors are chocolate girl friendly, which I always love. They're very pigmented, so the, sh the colors show up really nicely and everything. So I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 because I love you, Jackie, and because all the colors I could definitely wear, I could definitely rock them, and they're just, they're the bomb. I'll go over the colors like I did in the first one. Sorry, it's used already. I did wait. To review the palette and i unboxed it and everything and that's the video that got deleted it's so frustrating so we have i swatched in everything oh my god i'm not gonna do all that again because of the fact that i have like used it it's just so unfair so we have soleil supreme pinker big wig dollars credit lituation zam wigglies Shookington, Trust Issues, Edges, Sponsor, and Ginger. So, so far, my favorite color is Wigglies and Zam. Oh. Dollars, Wigglies, Zam. Yeah, those are my favorite colors so far. What I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to do a Valentine's Day look. Valentine's Day is coming up at the end of this week. And maybe some of you girls need a little Valentine's Day idea. So, the colors I want to use... Wigglies, Supreme, and Pinker because I think that those colors look pretty goddamn Valentine's Day, if that's a word. So let's get right to it. If you haven't already, my loves, thumbs up this video, like, share, subscribe, leave a positive comment down below. I will appreciate you. Where's the primer? So the first thing I'm gonna go and do is I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna prime my face. I like to use the Becca Poreless Ever Matte Primer. It's like my favorite because I love a matte face. I get pretty oily in here, the T-zone area, so I like to keep it to a minimum. So as the day goes along, like I'll start to get a little bit oily, but this will keep it from not being as oily. Like it'll still have like a nice 
a nice matte finish to it. A nice matte look to my face and it'll last all day. And a little bit goes a long way. So I'm going to go in and do my eyebrows. So guys, like, how are you feeling about Valentine's Day? Do you like Valentine's Day? Do you feel like it's a waste? Do you feel like it's just another way to spend money? Like, how do you feel about Valentine's Day? Comment below. For me, Valentine's Day is kind of a touchy day for me because it is my grandmother's birthday. She died. She passed away. When Valentine's Day comes around, like, I get, like, a rush of anxiety of just feelings and emotions because I miss her. Like, she was, like, oh, anybody, everyone loves their grandparents. And, like, my grandmother, she was just amazing. She was so sweet, just the nicest person ever. Oh, I do not want to start crying. Around Valentine's Day and on Valentine's Day, I get very sad. I like to... Like, I like to celebrate Valentine's Day, but I'm just, I kind of just, I'm so, like, in a feeling of just, I'm just sad. Like, I just feel sad because I miss her. So, I told my girlfriend not to get me anything for Valentine's Day, but I feel like she did get me something anyway because she doesn't listen. So, what what are your Valentine's Day plans? Like, are you taking your honey out? Are you single and you're going to date yourself? I told my girlfriend, I don't want to go out and spend money right now. Like, our biggest goal is to be debt-free. We're also saving for a tiny home. And we have other things to be thinking about besides, like, Valentine's Day. And she always surprises me with different gifts and different stuff. So, I'm like, you know, I don't, like, like, people say Valentine's Day is every day for me. And it's like... Honestly, like Valentine's Day is a lot throughout the weeks, like throughout the year for me because I always get random gifts or just little things just to show she loves me. You know what I mean? I could appreciate having a partner that like gives a damn about how I feel. For Valentine's Day, she's going to try to make it special. Now I'm sure she will make it special. <laughs> I'm sure. So I did put a little bit of um NYX concealer in the color toffee. It's just like a brighten it up. I'm actually gonna put some primer on. Maybe I should have put the primer on and then put the concealer on. We're winging it today. <sighs> are any of my followers or subscribers from New York? How many of you are over this weather? Because I am. I really cannot wait for the warm weather to come. Like, I'm over it already. Even though we've kind of been a little bit spoiled, like, it hasn't even really been, like, winter, winter here. What's gonna happen? Like, I swear we're gonna get, like, snowstorms and stuff. Anyways, I'm gonna go in with pinker first. Just this color right here. color is really pretty now i'm gonna go in with wigglies which is this color right here <sighs> my honey just texted me with some great news <laughs> that i will share with you guys very soon and i can't wait to talk about it oh wigglies is my favorite color oh my god it's so amazing it's so amazing <laughs> look at that
The color is stunning. Like, like who the hell? Oh, goodness. Gives me the chills. In the inner corner crease, I want to put Supreme in there. So for foundation, I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Longwear. Ooh, it's a brand new bottle too. Ooh. Ooh, you cannot go wrong with Fenty. Like, oh, it's just, just does something. Does something for the soul, you know what I'm talking about? Do you know what I'm talking about? Ooh. Lately, I've been trying to like chill on a Fenty. Sometimes you gotta use drugstore and I've been using my L'Oreal True Match, which gets the job done, but ugh, Fenty just gives me absolute life. You feel me? Let's conceal, don't feel. Y'all about to, hmm. Y'all about to look real, real nice for Valentine's Day. I'm not really good at contouring, so bear with me, guys. <laughs> First of all, let's do a little bit. A little bit. Like, what is the secret to contouring? Like, what is the secret? And what I used for the contour was the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Dark Cocoa. Now for a little highlight. And I'm using... I actually mix my highlighters together because they broke. But I'm using the Becca the Becca highlight in the color Topaz. But it also has a little mix of like some rose gold highlight in there. I did like a whole shout out in the first video, the review that I did with these makeup brushes that my friend Angelique got me. She gave me a late birthday gift. How cute is that? They're so stinking cute. I love them. She also gave me this headpiece and she gave me a new makeup bag with, and it has kisses all over it. Thank you, Angie, for that. Appreciate you, boo. It's nice to still be getting gifts and my birthday was in January.
don't hold it back anymore. I'm just adding a little bit of Fenty Beauty highlighter in the color Trophy Wife. Now I'm gonna add my faux freckles. Now I do have, I do have beauty marks. So I have a beauty mark right here and right here. And then the other ones are the ones that I just want. <laughs> I do one here and I do two here and I do one here, which I have one there really. And I have one here. This is just like a beauty supply store eyeliner. Nothing special, nothing crazy. Just take it and you can put a beauty mark anywhere you like. I want like a little sparkle. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of the color Zam in the corners. Now for some lashes. Because I wear lashes, I always just get like some cheap mascara and kind of just coat my lashes before I put them on. This is like um, the blackest black Great Lash by Maybelline, New York. It's actually good. It's a good uh, mascara. Let that dry down for a little bit. Lashes are on now. The last look, I didn't do lip liner, but this look, I am going to do lip liner and then I'm going to go in with the new lipstick. So don't judge me, but sometimes I like to use my concealer as lipstick because it stays like all day. It stays and then it's like very matte. It's like a really pretty look like why not? The color that I normally use, the nude lipstick that I normally use that I absolutely love is the color Cherish by MAC, but I'm really out of that. So yeah, not looking like a move right now. Guys, this is pretty much my, my finished look, okay? I just need a little setting spray and I'm ready to go. I'm gonna be using Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And I'm obsessed with SZA. So sometimes after I do my lipstick, she has like this beauty mark right here. I don't have that, but I can make my own. So I'll do this. Corny, maybe, <laughs> but I like it, so this is it.
what? Uh, this is my finished look. Valentine's Day ready. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my Valentine's Day look. If you have a Valentine, I hope you guys have some amazing plan. You don't have to wait until Valentine's Day to be super sweet and do something super special for your loved ones. So just remember, like Valentine's Day could be any day out the week, any day out the out the year but i want to wish you guys all a happy valentine's day i hope you enjoyed my video i hope you enjoyed this look definitely shout out to jackie you guys should definitely go out and purchase her palette because it's the real deal it's affordable go out and get this you could get you could get it online you could get walk into sephora and go get it that's what i did go collect them beauty inside of points okay and then you have some people who are like me who are a little bit sad on Valentine's Day and that's okay too. Just know that you're loved by somebody, somebody's thinking about you and if you lost somebody and Valentine's Day makes you sad, just, you know, think that they are looking over you and definitely don't want you to be sitting there being sad. Try going into 2020 Valentine's Day and being excited for love and appreciate the loved ones that you have in your life and go make somebody smile like just go be kind to somebody and that'll make you feel much better like comment and subscribe turn on your bell notifications i will see you in the next one bye